A cyclone separator is a filtration device that uses the principles of fluid mechanics to separate suspended impurities in air. They can also be used to separate liquids of different densities. Cyclone separators are quite efficient in removing large particles as they do not have moving parts. That being said, they are kind of inefficient when your particle sizes are very very small. The way this device works is quite interesting. Air comes in with particles, say dust, and once it enters the cyclone separator, the air stream is going to turn and follow the shape of the geometry because of the Coanda effect. The dust particles are heavier than air and cannot change their direction easily. Hence, they hit the wall, lose their momentum and continue to spiral down and get collected. But how are we preventing the air from going through the dust outlet? Well, this is where pressure helps us. We will apply suction to the top outlet and this causes the air to exit through the top. Thus, we have clean air flowing through the top while dust collects at the bottom. When I first read about this, I had a question. Why can't the dust and air directly get sucked in because of the low pressure? Well. This is where two clever design features help out. First of all, we have our inlet section entering the separator along a tangent. This helps the air to smoothly move along the wall. Secondly, there is a cylindrical liner which prevents direct access to the suction side. When a particle is spinning, it will experience a centrifugal force which pushes it radially outwards which helps us. Now all of these simulations were done using ANSYS fluent. We used ANSYS space claim to extract the fluid volume. We have to do this because the original model contains a lot of components that are not in touch with the fluid domain. Once we have done that, we proceed to meshing. Here we employ a tet mesh with inflation layers to capture the wall effects. We then use ANSYS fluent to simulate the fluid flow and introduced dust particles using the discrete phase modeling approach in ANSYS fluent. <music> Alright, hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to learn how to do this simulation step by step, click on the link below to learn about our latest course on ANSYS Fluent. Thanks, bye.